Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Today, I have a payoff pitch game for you. This is going to be the 1981 Texas Rangers visiting the 1981 Oakland A's. And uh, the pitching matchup today will be Rick Langford for the A's and Doc Medich for the Texas Rangers. And today we are going to have, well, we'll go over the lineup. First, we'll go over the um, Texas lineup. And uh, the Texas lineup will look like this that's going to face Mr. Rick Langford. Mickey Rivers will lead off and play center field. Bill Sample will bat second and be the left fielder followed by Al Oliver in the third spot, and he's the DH today. Pat Putnam will bat in the cleanup spot and play first base. Buddy Bell's in the fifth spot and playing third. Johnny Grubb will be the right fielder batting sixth. Bill Stein bats seventh, he's the shortstop. Jim Sundberg will be the catcher, batting eighth, and in the ninth spot will be Bump Wills, the second baseman. And we will go over the Oakland lineup when they come up. But we're going to get underway with this game right now. Mickey Rivers. And it is a nine on Langford's card. And also, I got, a, I got these reversed. Let's see. There we go. Uh, nine on Lankford's card is in play. So we will uh, look at Mickey Rivers in play section. And that was a 96. So he is going to be out F9. The next batter is Billy Sample. So there's one down. Billy Sample up. That is a 10. That is also an in play. And uh, this is a roll of 57. 57 against a righty is going to be a an F9 as well. So the first two batters fly out to right field, and that brings up the third batter, Al Oliver. Al Oliver gets a 7. And seven on Rick Langford's card is a patient. Patient versus righty, and the roll is a 45, which is also off the card. And that is a ground out to the pitcher. So he goes out one to three, and Texas gets no runs in the first. Now the Oakland lineup is going to be Ricky Henderson batting leadoff and playing left field. Dave McKay will be the second baseman batting second. Batting third, you've got Dale, uh, Dwayne Murphy, the center fielder. And batting in the cleanup spot is going to be Mickey Klutz. Now, many of you people don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't know. But Mickey Klutz had a great 1981 for what little he played. Uh, against righties, he only had 13 at-bats, but one home run. And so he's going to have a nice wheelhouse. Now, if this had been a lefty, it really would have been a great um, time to play him because he hit four, 424 against lefties with four home runs and 33 at-bats. So, yeah, that's the kind of season the guy had. Cliff Johnson will be the fifth batter and the DH. Batting sixth is Jim Spencer. He'll be the first baseman. Tony Armas bats seventh. He is in right field. Jeff Newman will be the catcher and bat eighth, and Rob Picciolo will be the shortstop, picking up the rear in the ninth spot. So let's get this underway, and they're all going to be batting against Doc Medich. And that is going to be a two, and two is defense right off the bat. So we're going to flip the card, and... The two, and we're looking at this, you know, when I flip it over, we're looking at this card that I flip over. So, um, the uh, defense is going to be a potential error at third base. 
And so uh, the third baseman for Texas is a B3. Um, Ricky Henderson gets leads right off here with an error by um, the third baseman. E5. And stealing Ricky Henderson is a six plus C. So let's see here. Steal as a as a C and the catcher's arm is a um is a one so that would be a c1 on the steel chart which is why is he that bad there's no way he should be a c but anyway that that looks like it's uh, going to be a poor chance, so we're not going to do it. We're not going to try it. And Dave McKay is going to be the next batter. <coughs> Nobody out. Henderson aboard. And that is a five. Five on Medic is tough. And tough for a 56 against a righty is still going to be a single. So... Texas has the first two guys on. And uh, Langford gives up a hit. Or wait a minute, no. Um, Medich gives up a hit. Dwayne Murphy is up. That's a 10. A 10 and an 83, so that's probably going to be an out, but the 10 is an in play. In play, uh, 83 is going to be a ground out four. So we'll check for the double play, uh, potential double play with the two runners on. Um, his rating is a six, and Doc Medich's rating is a five. So let's see. Roll the two D dice, D6 dice again. And that is a five. If the result is less than both ratings, uh, it's a double play. But it isn't less. It is tied with one of them. So um, that is going to be a, uh, I'm going to say runners go, runners are at the corners. That was a, Four to uh, four to six fielder's choice, and now Mickey Klutz is up. <clears throat> and that is a six and an eight, so six. On Medich's card is an in play, and an eight is going to be a single that knocks in a run, and now runners are at first and second. So Klutz gets a single, and Ricky Henderson ends up scoring. And that was a hit, another hit by Medich. That is an unearned run because uh, Henderson got a board on an error, but there's still only one out and Cliff Johnson out. That is a five on Medich's card. It's a tough, tough and 17. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Medich strikes out the first guy that he has struck out for the game and there's still two runners on but now two out and Jim Spencer up and he gets an eight and a 14. Eight is a patient and a 14 is going to be a walk. 
So the bases are loaded now. Oakland is uh, surprisingly offensive this game. They weren't, from what I remember, a very good team. Tony Armas. Tony Armas with a 7 and a 22. 7 is a tough. 22 is going to be a strikeout. So, uh, Medich strikes out a key guy, but Oakland does get a run. They strike for a run in the first inning and lead 1-0. And Pat Putnam is going to be the batter for Texas here in the second. And that is a 7 and a 20. 7 is a patient, and a 20 is going to be a double. So Pat Putnam with a double. Langford gives up a hit, and I already had mistakenly marked that down, so keep it there. Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell with an 8, and 8 is an in play and a 50. That's going to be off of his card, and it's going to be a G5 ground out to the um, third baseman. So um, uh, we're going to say the runner stays there. Five to three. Johnny Grubb. Johnny Grubb gets a seven, a seven and a zero. So a zero, I think, is a, um, that is a, a an uncommon play. Um, so let's check that. Let me get my uncommon play chart. Okay, runner on runner on base. I'm gonna roll the dice. That is an eleven, and eleven says if the total is equal to or higher than the pitcher's hold rating, and the pitcher is Lankford, and his hold rating is um, a five. If it is higher than or higher than the pitcher's hold rating, a balk is called and runners advance one base. So there's a balk on Langford and the runner moves over to third and we will re-roll for Johnny Grubb. And that, or we'll re-roll for, yeah. For Johnny Grubb, yeah. And uh, that is a 4 and a 21. 4. Oh, wait a minute. This is Texas? Oh, this is Texas. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, the hold rating. Yeah, all right. So um, a 4 on Lankford's card is an in play, and 21 is going to be off just off the card, and that's going to be a uh, pitcher four, or a pop, pop out four, pop out four, so that is two down, two down and a runner 90 feet away, and Bill Stein is up, yeah, the first inning went so well, <laughs> and then a six and a two, six on um, Rick Langford is a tough and a two is going to be a strikeout. So Langford strikes the man out. And they did get a man to third base, Texas did, but they didn't get him in. And so Jeff Newman will lead off here for the uh, Oakland A's in the bottom, in their half of the uh, second inning, the bottom of the second. Newman the batter. That is a 12 and a 92. So 12 is a wheelhouse. And um, a 92 is going to be off the card, and it's going to be an F7. Pichelo is up. Pichelo gets a 4 and a 78. So um, 4 
on Doc Medich is an in play and a 78 will be off the card and it's going to be an F8. And the uh, third batter of the inning is Ricky Henderson. Ricky Ricky. And that is an 8 and an 8. So 8 is uh, patient but an 8 is uh, a walk actually. So Ricky Henderson gets aboard for the second time today and Again, for some reason, um, payoff pitch made him a, a not a great st base stealer, at least in light of who the catcher is. So um, he will not be trying to steal. And Dave McKay is the best. And that is a 12 and a 52. That's going to be a wheelhouse. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, a wheelhouse. But a 52 is just off the card, and it will get him a G5, which is an out, and the inning is over. So we are going to the top of the third, and Jim Sundberg is the batter, the catcher, Going up against Lankford, and that is a 9 and a 36. 9 is an in play, and a 36 is off the card, and that's going to be a G1. So he goes out 1 to 3. Bump Wills is the batter. 1 down. That is an 8 and a 79. So an 8. On Langford's card is an in play, and a 79 will be off the card. It's an F8. So, um, Rick Langford pitching really well here early. Mickey Rivers. Mickey Rivers gets an 8 and a 38. 8 is an in play, and a 38 is off the card. And it will be a uh, ground out, or a pop out to the third, uh, first baseman. So, no runs there for Texas, and we're going to the bottom of the third with Oakland holding a one nothing lead in the bottom of the third inning right now. Dwayne Murphy leading off, and he gets a 5 and an 88. 5 is a tough, and an 88 will, of course, be off the card. That's a ground out 4, so... Um, so that is a 4-3. One down, and Mickey Klutz. Mickey Klutz gets a 7 and a 53. 7 on Medich's card is a tough, and a 53 is a strikeout. Medich striking out his third guy of the game, and then that gives way to Cliff Johnson. Cliff Johnson with a 10 and a 45. 10 is an in play, and 45 against a righty is going to be off the card, and it is a G5. It's a 5-3. to three. And no runs for Oakland. They maintain their one nothing lead, though, as we go to the top of the first, or the fourth inning with uh, Billy Sample up. And he gets a 4 and a 63. Uh, four is an in play, and a 63 is going to be off the card. It's going to be an F9. Al Oliver is the batter. And that is going to be a five and a, looks like an 81. So five is a tough, 81 is off the card. That is an F8. Fly out to the center fielder, and Pat Putnam is the batter. And he gets a 5 and a 15. 5 on Langford's card is a tough. 15 will be a strikeout. Langford with only his second strikeout of the game, but doesn't matter to him. He's got the one nothing lead. As we go to the bottom of the fourth with Texas needing a run to tie here, uh, well, I mean, at some point, but it, as the game drags on, it's going to become harder and harder. Jim Spencer gets a 5 and an 18. 5 is a tough, and an 18 will be a strikeout. So, 
Spencer with the K. Um, Medich strikes him out. Tony Armas. Up. That is a 6 and a 79. 6 on Medich's card is an in play. 79 will be off the card and it will be an F8. And that brings up the catcher, Jeff Newman. Hello, Newman. And he gets a 10 and an 89. 10 is going to be an in play, but an 89 will be off the card. And it's a G6, so it's 6 to 3. And no runs come in there. We go to the top of the fifth. I like how this game is flowing. I mean, with the exception of the second inning where I had to look a few things up and wasn't exactly sure because it has been a while since I've played this game. Uh, but otherwise, it's been flowing pretty well. Um, I mean, I've only had to flip one fact card so far. Buddy Bell is the batter leading off the track to Texas. That is a 12... 12 and a 19. That's going to be a wheelhouse. And a 19 is a home run for Buddy Bell. So, but the uh, Texas Rangers tie the game on a Buddy Bell home run. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's a deep. Wait a minute. No, I was looking at the wrong picture. No, no, take the home run back. It is not a home run for Buddy Bell. It is, um, it's a defense. And so we're gonna flip the card and look at the defense. It's a possible error on the pitcher. It's a one base error. So, um, and now I gotta undo this. This was really an E1. So now Johnny Grubb is up with a man aboard. And that is going to be a 12 and a 38. I'm glad I caught this in the video. 12 is a defense. So we'll see what the uh, error is or what it is. It's a range at shortstop. Roll these again. And it's a 52. And a 52 for a C range is going to be a uh, an out. And so we will check for the double play by rolling the two dice. The double play rating for Lankford is a six, and the double play rating for Johnny Grubb is a nine. So it has to be um, if it's less well, it might be, and it is, it's less, so it is a double play. So that was a um, six, four, three, double play. And now there's two down that quickly. And, um, Bill Stein is the batter. And that is going to be an eight and an 87. And an eight on Langford's card is an in play. And an 87 is going to be an out to the shortstop, 6-3. So um, no runs come in, although we did mistakenly think for a minute that there was a uh, home run, but there wasn't. It was, turns out it was um, just um, an error. Yeah, or was it? Yeah, it was an error on the pitcher, I suppose. Um, so anyway, we are, we're struggling along here, and Rob Piccolo is going to be the leadoff batter in the fifth inning for Oakland. This is what happens when you don't play these games for a while. Four and a 67. So four on um, Medich is an in play, and a 67 is going to be a, a four to three. Which brings up Ricky Henderson. Ricky, tricky Ricky Henderson gets a 9 and a 42. 9 is a ballpark and a 42 on ballpark is um, 
going to be wheelhouse. And so I think what I do now is I roll for the wheelhouse, re-roll for the wheelhouse. And that is a 72, which will be off the card and it will be a, a four to three. And then we go to Dave McKay. Dave McKay with an 11 and a 69. 11 is an in play and a 69 is going to be off the card and it's a 4-3. So everybody that inning grounded out to the second baseman. No runs came in for the A's and we go to the top of the sixth inning. And Sunberg is the batter. And that is a 6 and a 14. So 6 is um, uh, on uh, Langford's card is a tough, and a 16 is a strikeout. And let's see. That is the third strikeout for Langford. Bump Wills is up, and he gets a three. There's a three and a 26. Three is a ballpark. 26 is going to be a um, batting left is going to be a wheelhouse, and so I will re-roll for the wheelhouse. And that is a 77, which is going to be um, an in-play so I guess we re-roll for the in play. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and an in play nine is going to be a single. So Bump Wills, after all of that, Bump Wills gets a single, I think. Um, and Langford giving up his second, I guess his second hit. Yeah, just, just his second hit allowed for Rick Langford. And Mickey Rivers is up. Mickey Rivers gets a 10 and a 46. 10 is an in play and a 46 is going to be off the card and it's going to be a line out four. And that brings up Billy Sample. Billy Sample with two down and a man aboard first. And there is a seven and a 68. Seven is a patient and a 68 is just off the card and it's a G4, four to three. So Texas again fails to score against Langford. And you got Dwayne Murphy coming up for Oakland against Medich. And he gets a seven and a 54. Seven is a tough. 54 is going to be a strikeout. So Dwayne Murphy with the, with the K striking out to Medich, who gets his fifth strikeout of the game. And that brings up Mickey Klutz. Here he is, home run man deluxe. That is a four and a 22. Four is an in play, and a 22 is gonna be off the card for him against righties, and it's a pop-out four. And that brings up Cliff Johnson. And that is gonna be a seven and a 70. Seven is uh, tough. 70 will be a strikeout. So we still got a one nothing game going on here between the 81 Texas Rangers and the 81 Oakland A's. Al Oliver is the batter. And going still going up against Rick Langford, who's pitching great. And that is an 11 and a 55. 11 is an in play, and a 55 is off the card, and it's going to be a G5. So 5-3 to three for Al Oliver. Here in the seventh, we're moving right along. And uh, Pat Putnam, Pat Putnam the batter, seven and a 28. Seven is a patient and a 28 is going to be a single. Pat Putnam aboard with a hit. 
Langford only giving up his third hit of the game with one down. And Buddy Bell. Buddy Bell gets an 8 and a 22. 8 is an in play, and a 22 is going to be a single. And we're going to pick the card and look at the single section to see what kind of a single. Line drive into center field, runner on first, advances one. So that is runners at first and second. Langford giving up his fourth hit. Let's see if they can score, if Texas can break through and score here. Johnny Grubb. Johnny Grubb with a five and a 97. So five is a tough. 97's off the card. That's going to be an F9. So now Texas has two outs. They need Bill Stein to come through for them right here. And that is a 7 and a 21. 7 is, um, on Langford's card, is a patient. And a 21 is a walk. So now Texas has loaded the bases. And... Um, that's the first walk Langford has issued. So now this is the first time Langford's really been in any kind of real trouble here. And um, Sunberg is a batter. Sunberg gets a 7 and a 93. 7 is a patient, and a 93 will be off his card. And it's going to be an F7 and a Texas threatened in the 7th, but they didn't come back and they didn't come through and score. And so... Uh, the score is still one nothing Oakland. Which brings up Jim Spencer. Spencer is the first batter for Oakland here in the 8th, or in the uh, bottom of the 7th. And that is going to be a 7 and a 92. 7 is a tough, 92 will be off the card. That's an F9. Tony Armas is the batter. That is a 10 and a 73. So let's see. 10 on uh, Medich is an in play. And a 73 will be off the card. And it's going to be uh, an F8. And that brings up Jeff Newman, the catcher for Oakland. And that is a 10 and a 12. 10 is an in play. And a 12 will be a single. So Jeff Newman gets a hit. And uh, that is only the third hit allowed by Medich. And Rob Peachelow's up. Peachelow gets a 9 and a 71. 9 is a ballpark. And a 71 for a righty is going to be a wheelhouse. And so I'll roll for the re-roll for the wheelhouse. And that is a 55, and a 55 is going to be off the card, and it's going to be a G5 for the third and final out, 5-3. to three. And no runs for Oakland as we go to the eighth, one nothing as we go to the eighth inning. And Bump Wills is the batter, going up against Langford still. That is a 7, 7 and a 53, 7 is a patient. And a 53 is going to be a hit by pitch. So Bump Wills gets hit by pitch. Uh, let's see if Bump Wills has um, or, um, has a uh, an actual uh, steel rating that's good. Steel is a D. No, that's not a good rating. Um, let's see. 4D and... The catcher for Oakland is a C. Let's see. Catcher's arm is a for Oakland is a two. So a D two stealing is going to be poor. So he's, again, not going to go. I don't know what is going on with these ratings, but uh, maybe I'm reading them wrong, but I don't know. Mickey Rivers is up. Mickey Rivers gets a 9 and a 40. 
A uh, 9 is going to be an in play, and a 40 is going to be off the card, and it's going to be a pop-out 5. Billy Sample is up with one out and one on. That, that is an 8 and an 84. 8 is going to be an in play. 84 will be off the card. It's going to be a ground out 6. We'll check for the double play. That's a five, and his is a six. So we'll re-roll this. And it is a two, so it is a double play. It's lower than both, and that is a double play. So that is a six, four, three, double play, and no runs for Texas in the eighth. As we go to the bottom of the eighth, both pitchers pitching outstanding baseball here today, at least the way that I'm reading it. <laughs> Um, Ricky Henderson is the batter here in the eighth. And that is a 10 and a 76. 10 is an in play, but a 76 will be off his card. That's going to be an F8. So Oakland is running, quickly running out of, or um, uh, Texas is quickly running out of time here. Dave McKay gets a 12 and a 14. 12 is a wheelhouse. And a 14 for a guy who would be batting left is uh, going to be, um, or a 14 against a uh, righty is going to be a double. So McKay gets a double. And that is the uh, fourth hit given up by Medich. These guys, these both of these pitchers have been pitching outstanding. Um, Dwayne Murphy is up. He gets a, that's a two and a 29. Two is a defense and a 29 is going to be a, uh, possible air in left field. The left fielder for Texas is a B. And so we will roll the dice and look at the B for air as it's 25. And um, that is going to be an error. So we're going to have to look and see what type of an error on the outfielder. And it's going to be a two-base error, and that allows the run to score. So Dwayne Murphy, McKay comes around on the uh, error by uh, the left fielder, E7. And there's still only one out and a man up at second, and Mickey Klutz is the batter. Mickey Klutz gets an 8 and a 77. Uh, 8 is um, on Medich is a patient, and a 77 will be off his card. And that's going to be an F8. And that brings up Cliff Johnson. Cliff Johnson. And that is a 7 and a 21. Seven is a tough, 21 is a strikeout. And uh, Medich with another strikeout, but he allowed another run. Well, he allowed another run. His defense allowed another run. And so um, it is 2 nothing going to the top of the ninth here. Texas needs two runs to tie off of Langford, who has been on cruise control, so they're not taking him out. L. Oliver with a six. And a 99. 6 is going to be a tough. 99 is off the card. It's an F9. Pat Putnam is up. Putnam with a 3 and a 40. 3 is a ballpark. And a 40 is for a left-handed batter is going to be wheelhouse. So I will roll for his wheelhouse against a righty, and that is going to be a home run. Pat Putnam brings him within one. And Buddy Bell is the batter with one down, and that's a five and a 22. Five is a tough. 22 is still going to be a strikeout. Langford with the strikeout. He needs only one more out to win this game by the score of 2-1. to one. Johnny Grunt. 
Johnny Grubb gets an 11 and a 56. 11 is an in play, 56 is off the card, and that is an F7. And so what we have here, folks, is a 2-1 final score between the 81 Texas Rangers and the 81 Oakland A's, with the A's coming out on top by the slimmest of scores, 2-1. Rick Langford, the winner, Doc Medic, the loser, both pitchers went the distance in a great game here from 1981. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.